welcome to Taste of Change. I'm Dr. Irina Coles, and the program is uh, generously supported by Bazaar Supermarkets. Well, we are finally uh, entering the summer, at least here, the East Coast. And uh, uh, on summer, we, we don't want to eat like, heavy, uh, heavy uh, meals, like maybe stew or something like this, which actually very good in winter. It is warming and it is cozy, yes, but in summer we don't uh, need as much energy for this, for survive in hot weather. And uh, that's why I uh, inspire you to eat something light, Definitely nutritious, but something lighter, which uh, support, which will support the the, the, the nutritional uh, needs, and at the same time will help you to lose weight or to keep weight. Let's cook omelet today. Omelets are really they are like universal. You can cook it uh, for breakfast. Um, maybe on the weekend when you have more time, you can cook it for lunch, and definitely you can have it like a light dinner. Adding salad, adding cheese, and such things, nice light dinner outside. We'll start from, uh, so we'll make omelette with mushrooms and asparagus. <coughs> I start cutting uh, mushrooms and uh, remind you that uh, please do not wash mushrooms uh, before cooking uh, because uh, just wipe them with a paper towel, a little bit maybe wet paper towel and this is it. They're from the farms, they're not from the forest and uh, when if you wash them they become like watery, liquid, and mushy, so we don't want it. It's better to avoid this. Sure enough, we'll be cooking on olive oil, such fancy olive oil, organic, extra virgin olive oil, Palermo, uh, which came from Bazaar West supermarket. So the goal is to cook mushrooms to fry it, we can say. Then we'll add asparagus and we'll cook omelet like simultaneously. Everything will go parallel. Ready? Let's beat eggs now. We'll need about four eggs for this amount. We'll use this device, kind of shaker, for mixing eggs. Oh, you see how nice and uh, well done. You know what? I think I'll add asparagus at this point. Well, asparagus, we need to cut this heavy part, which is always very pity because it's such a waste. It's such a great green. We'll add them here, just together, friendly. And I'll add a little bit of olive oil. At this point, mushroom can be salted. And we'll add black pepper later. Okay, I'll salt eggs. I'll add mm, nutmeg. Nutmeg goes very well with eggs, milk products and mushroom. We are not using milk products today. I'll make an omelette without any milk. 
<coughs> we want to keep it low dry, so we don't need extra lactose in our dish. Okay, the skillet is ready. Eggs are beaten well. And all we need to do is just flush it here. And immediately after that, decrease the heat and close this nice dish. The omelets are cooked about maybe two, three minutes, maybe, maybe more. A little bit depends on the on the on everything on the dish you cook and the the temperature how how it switched from the high to medium and um, definitely if you look at this uh, meal it is it is light it uh, has all actually nutritional value we need. It has fiber, it has very good uh, proteins and some fats. So if you eat it for breakfast, and I always encourage you to eat good breakfast, you definitely have enough energy to go through the day. What is good to add? You can eat this omelet definitely greens of your choice whatever you want you can add to this and uh, it all work but if you are not satisfied if you still not full the thing that I always recommend to add not just to omelet but generally if you drink some tea and uh, you you're hungry get piece of cheese. I've got some very nice cheese. I think I, this is the first time I have it and uh, and uh, I tried it and it's delicious so I highly recommend it. Traditional Danish Fontine semi soft cheese. It looks so nice. It has these bubbles. Right like on the pictures. Okay, let's see how it goes. Very well, by the way. So, meanwhile, let's prepare the plate. So, if you have cheese after meal, you feel full. Cheese makes this uh, amazing input and then another another thing you do not crave for sweets because so many times people want something sweet after meal because they're still hungry and they want something as soon as you have even small piece of cheese you are full and you are losing this desire for sweetness very very good habit to develop you know what? I don't think it's the right thing to do actually to open this, but um, uh, the cover is not uh, glass, so I can see what is going on there. So uh, another maybe 20 or 30 seconds. It is on four on medium low temperature. Oh, look how beautiful! Almost done. Opa, cute. Make a sun, you know, summer sun. Such nice and hot shine. And here are our mushrooms and asparagus. Look what can be better. Amazing, amazing meal. Very satisfying, beautiful, nice. You don't need any special culinary uh, skills for this. It is so simple. Everyone can make it absolutely great wonderful you were watching um, taste of change uh, i'm dr rina Coles. if you want more recipes you'll find them on the website weightdestiny.com and also on the channel 
of actontv.org. More recipes, more videos, more great tips for healthier living. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.